Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to look at chemicals of life, and the lesson is best for A level students. These are substances that make up a cell. They include acids and bases, salts, water, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and vitamins. One, acid base and salts. An acid is a substance that dissolves in water and produces hydrogen ions as the only positive ion is in the solution. They turn blue much paper red. They have a sour taste. For example, lemon juice. A base is a substance that can accept a proton from another substance. Base solution turn red it mass blue. A solid is a substance that is produced when an acid and a base react. pH is a negative log, hydrogen ion concentration. It is a function that measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. pH 7 indicates a neutral solution. From 7 towards 0, acidity increases. From pH 7 to pH 14, alkalinity increases. Examples of acids, bases, and salts in the body include acids, we have DNA, hereditary material, amino acids, building units of proteins, lactic acid is produced during anaerobic respiration, vitamin C is a useful vitamin in the body. Then the bases we have ammonia. Acidosis and alkalosis. The normal pH of blood is 7.4. Acidosis is the condition of blood where the pH is less than 7.4. Viral alkalosis is a condition of blood where the pH is higher than 7.4. Effect of unbalanced pH of the body. When the pH varies from the normal pH, the enzymes are unable to work properly, and this may lead to a death of a person. Another chemical of life is water. Water makes up 60-90% of organisms. Water has got the following uses to both animals and plants. To make up structures, it is a solvent, it is a reagent for hydrolysis. Most hydrolysis reactions require water. It provides support to aquatic plants and animals, even habitat. The medium of fertilization it is a medium where sperms swim to the eggs. It helps in the temperature control when the temperature rises. Sweating or transpiration leads to the cooling of plants or animals. Then it is a medium for the removal of waste. The second chemical of life is water. Water makes up 60-90% of all organisms. When you look at uses of water, we have uses to animals and plants. So in plant and animal, water make up structures. It is a solvent, it is a reagent for hydrolysis, provides support to aquatic plants and animals. It is a medium of fertilization where the sperms will swim to the ova. It helps in temperature control, loss of water by transpiration or by sweating, leads to the cooling of the organism. So it is a medium 
for removal of wastes. Uses of water to the plant. It helps in the fruit and seed dispersal. Actually, it spreads the seeds and the fruits. Provides support to herbaceous plants. Breaks up tester during germination. It is a reagent for photosynthesis. It is a medium of fertilization, especially to lower plants, such as Pteridophyta and Bryophyta. Transpiration cools the plant. Uses of water to animals. It lubricates joints. It's a medium of transport, especially those animals which live in water. Evaporation cools the animal. It is a constituent of protective fluids such as tears and mucus. Adaptation is of water to its function. One, it is a universal solvent. Water virtually dissolves everything from useful material to waste products to be transported to organisms of excretion. The high surface tension enables animals to walk on the surface of water. It also forms a protective layer on the bloody capillaries preventing them from bursting. Ice fruits on water. This one insulates the water bodies in the winter, preventing them from solidifying. Number four, water has high adhesive and cohesive forces that enables water to climb up a tall tree in the xylem. Five, water has got high specific heat capacity, which you need its variation of body temperature. So you need to lose a lot of heat for the temperature to drop by one degree. It has high specific heat of vaporization, which inhibits evaporation of water and drying out of water bodies during hot climate. Seven, water has got high latent heat of fusion, which inhibits freezing of water bodies. Another component of chemicals of life is inorganic compounds. There are those needed in big amounts, such as sodium, potassium, chloride, manganese, calcium, and others needed in small amounts, such as iron, cobalt, copper, zinc, and so on. Functions of inorganic compounds, there are components of proteins, for example, sulfur and nitrogen. They are components of tissues, for example, calcium in the bones. They are components of enzymes, such as iron and copper. They are metabolic activators, such as magnesium. They are constituents of pigments, for example, magnesium in chlorophyll and iron in hemoglobin. They are determinants of osmotic potential, for example, sodium, chlorine, and potassium ions. Then they help in nervous conduction, for example, here we have potassium and sodium. Carbohydrates, these are energy giving foods. Classification, we have monosaccharides, simple sugars, they include glucose, fructose, and galactose. Then B, we have disaccharides, these are made up of two sugar units. Sucrose is made up of glucose and fructose. Maltose is made up of glucose plus glucose. Lactose is made up of glucose plus galactose. Then for the saccharides, we have starch and cellulose. Testing for carbohydrates, A, 
Reducing sugars, give a ready precipitate with the hot Benedict or Ferrix solution. B, non reducing sugars. When non reducing sugars are boiled with Benedict or Ferrix solution, there is no observable change. But however, when they are boiled with the Otiadocolic acid, the mixture cooled and neutralized by dilute sodium hydroxide. Then the body with Benedict solution, they will give a red PPT. So, to tell a reducing sugar from a non-reducing sugar, a reducing sugar forms a red precipitate with Benedict or failing solution, while a non-reducing sugar don't. However, if we boil non-reducing sugar with Benedict solution and the cardamom is blue, and then to another portion, we add adocolic acid, we boil, we cool, add sodium hydroxide, followed by burning solution, and the color changes from blue to red, then that is the non-reducing sugar. Adocolic acid here, hydrolyzes non-reducing sugar to reducing sugar. Sodium hydroxide neutralizes excess acid because Bendix and Ferring solution don't work in acidic media. Then starch turns the color of iodine to blue. Lipids are esters of glycerol and fatty acids. Glycerol plus fatty acids, you get lipids. When it is a solid at room temperature, it is a fat. When it is a liquid at room temperature, it is an oil. Structure uses of lipids. They make up cell membrane. They are constituents of wax for protection on plant leaves. They are sponge in nature protects delicate organisms from shock, such as kidney and lungs. They are water repellent, which prevents water loss from the skin. They are used for storage. Adaptation is of lipids for storage. They have high calorific value because they have low oxygen content. They are light. They are compact to fit in a small volume. They can easily be mobilized when required. Physiological uses of, of lipids, they store metabolic water, they store fat soluble vitamins, which is A, D, E, K. Then if you read, the raw materials for hormones. Testing for lipids. They form translucent mark on paper which does not dry out on fire. They are soluble in ethanol, but insoluble in water. Proteins, they are classified into two. A, structural proteins, make up body structure such as bones, Muscles. Fibrinogen is the only soluble structural protein. B. Globular proteins are soluble proteins that make up enzymes and antibodies. Composition of proteins. The basic unit of a protein is amino acid. An amino acid has got amino group and a carboxylic group joined to an alkyl group. There are about 22 amino acids in the body, of which those that cannot be made in animal body are called essential amino acids. Uses of proteins, they make up structures such as collagen, hair, they are constituent of enzymes, for example, catalyzed enzyme, they are constituents of hormones, for example, insulin, 
They are constituent of muscles, for example, actin and myosin. They are used for storage, for example, egg white. They buffer pH, for example, amino acid will react with acid to form protonated ammonium amino acid or will react with bases to form a carbonate iron. In which case, they can remove halogen ions or hydroxide ions from solution. Testing for proteins, they coagulate on heating, they form a sponge mass. For example, when you are frying an egg, it forms a sponge mass, that's coagulation. They form purple solution. When sodium hydroxide is added, followed by a drop of copper to sulfate. Finally, we look at vitamins. These are compounds needed in minute amounts, but their deficiency cause diseases. Some common vitamins and their deficient disease include vitamin C, scurvy, lack of vitamin A, you get night blindness, lack of vitamin K, there's delayed clotting, and lack of vitamin E, you need to reduce fertility. Thank you very much for listening. Please subscribe to promote my website and allow me to make more videos. If you want a good secondary school and you are residing in Uganda, please join the Science Foundation College at number 0753 80 27 09.